Hello and welcome to Brandtex and today we have a conversation with Mr. Rajendra of RRP Electronics Limited. Congratulations Thank and we are celebrating a very momentous occasion. It's the first facility in Maharashtra, the semiconductor facility. Yes. So talk to us about your journey. What led to this? So uh, basically, as you are aware, last time you visited us, the yes. uh, electro-optics facility. So one of the biggest challenges we are facing there is for sensors. So all throughout this journey, right from 2012, 2013, 14, we were thinking of you know trying to make something. We did talk to IIT also, yes. but obviously everybody has their own challenges. Uh, and then uh, uh, eventually the the era of uh, our honourable Prime Minister Modi ji coming in to bring in something new and make India self-sufficient. Yes. He started slowly, 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 and then suddenly this hype of semiconductor came, yes. in. and then it was just matching our view that you know we also looking for something like that. And then, because we have been globally connected well, yes. uh, the first thing we decided is to, you know, uh, because these are technologies which are, can fail. Uh, you know, see, rejections are right. very high. Nobody would even attempt to yes. take it unless, you know, there is some fallback options available. So, uh, the subsidies was the main thing that attracted us initially. Sure. To in. And then, even if we have the subsidies, we should have... Uh, uh, the uh, 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 tie up with the technology part. Right. Who can start a revenue generation? Sure. Because he builds the wafers and he gives us. Right. So that is what is OSAT, outsource semiconductor right. assembly system. So we were fortunate enough, we had a good round of discussion. The technology board was confident that we could do it because we did some work with IIT 18, 19, 20, but COVID ke baad ho, it stopped. Sure. So, uh, jaise wo, uh, uh, that thing started, the the energy drive was very good and and then we decided uh, to uh, we launch it and, and just happened that two legends came oh, know, yes, just not planned Kakoto sir energy, uh, 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 yes, and cosmic Kakoto ji came <laughs> yeah. and then suddenly, so so the, our thought process was to to do something and then you know two legends coming in right thanks to cosmic energy and the universe yes. because i mean they are also thinking the same way that i am thinking absolutely and it is just all genius things are like <laughs> you just, just can't imagine that uh, and i think it, it's the first time of career of sachin ji and kapil yes. kishan that they have met on a common platform wow. related to technology wonderful so i'm very grateful and fortunate that uh, they also met Yes. And now I don't think that will fail. Sure. I'm sure it's going to give the whole lot of boost to the yes, industry itself as well. Exactly. So please talk to us about the products and applications. So this, uh, so mostly OSAT, I mean uh, OSAT obviously is uh, uh, the, the, the bill of material, the wafers comes from the technology right. provider. And most of the applications are towards automobiles, sure. electronics, mm -hmm. power based systems, industrial systems. Okay. So. So this technology company, this company who already has uh, been outsourcing this work to okay. Malaysia, uh, uh, to Romania, okay. obviously was looking for someone who could really take their uh, visions ahead. Because they can do a lot of work, right. but you know, if you design any fab, then if you don't have an OSAT, right. so they built a small OSAT in their facility, mm -hmm. and then we had a lot of discussions. So now. Uh, their products are mainly toward this, but he, uh, Dr. Gunter, who is the uh, right. owner of sure. HMT, mm -hmm. he has done something which is matching our applications, which is imaging. Sure. That is how our synergy is met, and okay. that is how he felt that you know we can handle this because sure. nobody um, would want to give a wafer unless he's very sure that he could really assemble it and test it. Right. right. So that was the confidence they have reposed in us, mm -hmm. and I think we'll stand to their reputation. Okay, wonderful. So talk to us about these machines. So these are basically, uh, uh, so mm -hmm. uh, it starts obviously from, you know, uh, if you, you have to uh, grind, okay. then you, if there's a wafer, uh, there's a back grinding so application, dice. then you have to dice it, Yeah. Uh, uh, then they, you know, you attach, uh, there's a bonding process. Some oh. chips, as Apurva said, you know, we need to bond it. Okay. okay. And Obviously, the chip ka output, right. if it has to go to any other module, you have to have the wires. Sure. So, these are the wire bonders okay. uh, that are there. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, when it ha happens, uh, some will have wires, while some will have it, you know, two chips bonded together, actually. Okay. So, that chip bonding. Sure. And then, the molds that are made for it and laser marking. Okay. So, so it's, it's a it's a established process. Right. It, it, it will not be different from what they do. Okay. Otherwise, so, we have to complement each other. Yes, yes. And 
so they obviously have assured us you know they can go up to 10 million Right. Uh, right. Oh, wonderful! That's the kind of big investment you attracted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you need to have that sort of assembly lines uh, sure. to to do this. Probably a single assembly line mopri could do around three to two to three million. But uh, in India, we have this concept of running 24 by 7. Right. Needing the right manpower. Right. So I think uh, once we do that, our bigger target is then approach Maharashtra government seek subsidies and sure. go for a bigger assembly line, go into fab, go into okay. design. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. So, give us a brief about the lidar technology. The so lidar is something which is light detection and mm-hmm. ranging, which is uh, one which you know you can. Uh, so, it basically, it uses light to detect. Sure. And measures the velocity also. Mm-hmm. So, it's like our radar box or uh, or RF system. Right. And uh, uh, we were very surprised when uh, Dr. Gunter had already done a 50 meter prototype. Okay. Just what I wanted. Yeah, yeah. I said this is the thing we need to do. He said, but uh, you know there was no support. I said we are there. We need it. And, right. And so now he is now working on it. And eventually, uh, it is a very challenging field. Whether we will be uh, successful in year one or year two, year three, we don't know. But we will be. Definitely. Uh, yes. And the day it happens, uh, ma'am, I can yes. tell you, it's a billion dollar industry. Oh, wonderful. So definitely, because I was talking to one of the uh, technology. CEOs mm-hmm. two days back, sure. and he was saying that he can make a laser on a chip. Absolute right. fiction. Goodness. And you are changing into realities with your vision. With it. Yeah. Takunkar sir always says that you know take fiction, convert into reality. Yes, imagination, integrate, collaborate, and all. So, what's your roadmap for next couple of years? So, ideally, first in 2025, we want to set up this OSAT. Sure. Start revenue generation. Mm-hmm. By 2026, we will pull on a good revenue in this because it's. It's it's a process that uh, we can take it ahead, and then we will slowly move into fab prototype as sure. 26. Sure. 27 may we try to have a design fab almost right. ready, but in the midst we'll obviously seek government to support because yes. this will then convert into an R&D sector. Right. This facility will not be enough to take the. Oh. Okay. So we have we seek government support to get. Uh, Land building. Yes. So, what kind of schemes and support government? So, uh, I know semiconductors have a direct 50% subsidy. Sure. 30 to 50% subsidy. Okay. And uh, some part of the uh, business uh, uh, subsidy comes from waiver of GST. Right. Okay. If you do a, if you do a sale in right, Maharashtra, right. okay. you get a uh, GST waiver. Oh, excellent. So, 50 to 60% subsidy is good enough. Otherwise, you know, uh, investing 100%. Uh, the, Every niche technology is uh, uh, every niche technology can be built. Right. Every niche technology can be developed. Absolutely. Every niche technology can be prototyped. Right. So whether it can uh, go into production is a big question mark. Right. And that is where people fail right. uh, uh, and don't want to venture because right. there are a lot of rejections. Yes. And that is where RRP will gain. That is very very. Yes, there is a tremendous opportunity. Yes. Wish you good luck. Thank you so Thank much, Chatham. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you.